what needs to happen to open the floodgates to a billion people globally for Web3? This may be a bit of an oversimplification, but there are effectively two main buckets of crypto experiences today. Um, one is really thinking about the money side or financial side. Um, and I think the experiences here make sense to people who spent a lot of time thinking about making money, moving money around, options trading, derivatives, etc. cetera. Um, but this also just isn't a massive number of people. Um, even if you look at people off of crypto, right? The The number of people who are doing derivatives trading is much smaller than the number of people who are you know, generically searching the internet, right? Um, I think the second sort of uh, bucket of crypto is really around NFTs and games, um, which have a much larger potential audience. Um, and especially as you think about things like play to earn or NFTs as access into communities or different events. Um, and so I think the second bucket is one that has potentially a much, much larger audience. Um, and thinking there about how NFTs begin to connect, um, connect people. Um, but I think all this being said, like we still definitely need to close the gap to people seeing value um, in these things. And I think it will just take time, iteration, and a lot of creativity um, as well to really close the gap between um, the capabilities of crypto and the value that people see day to day in their in their real life. For sure. So that was like the the macro take on it. And then yeah. thinking a little bit more micro, what what trends do you see growing in 2023 that will, you know, ultimately work towards some of those, you know, those things that are going to get us to a billion? Yeah. I mean, I think one big thing, right, and we talked about this a little bit, but is um uh, that right now technology is at the forefront of a lot of crypto experiences. And I think this moving to be kind of under the hood a little bit more so that people don't even necessarily realize that they are using products that are built on top of crypto, um, will be one huge thing, um, that they are happy and excited and delighted and see a huge amount of value in these experiences, but don't necessarily connect it to the technology underneath, right? Like I use Google today, but I don't think about Google's algorithms, right? Um, and then the second thing is just much more, uh, many more mobile experiences um, that I think a lot of stuff is still very much desktop first. And, and I think here, like one, thinking about where <laughs> where people are and also thinking just globally, too, of number of people on mobile devices versus desktop devices. And then I think also even thinking from like thinking more about UI here, but thinking about constraints. And we talked about simplicity as a constraint a little bit with, with Google, but I think you can't put as much stuff on a mobile screen as you can on, uh, on a desktop, right? And um, so you are forced to make decisions and prioritize what elements um, are most important in the UI and making sure that those are super easy to find. And I think that exercise of constraint actually helps people also make uh, much better um, browser kind of desktop experiences as well. You're listening to The Unstoppable Podcast the go-to place for everyone to learn about the latest innovations in Web3, NFTs, and the decentralized web. Welcome to the Metaverse.